Artist Del Norte, a local artist group. And we have a guest artist with us today, and his name is Gary Johnson. And we'd like to ask him about some of his artwork and see what makes him tick. So, Gary? Well, this is your first work here? It, it is. It's, um, <coughs> I did this for our spring show, which was a theme show. Mm -hmm. It was uh, um, artists in the Far East. And I, I like to set up, I like humor in photography. Mm -hmm. So that's what I did is I, I, I went around getting props uh, and, and trying to figure out a shot that I could express a little humor and, and still fit the theme. And so that's a little ninja artist. Um, I got him holding a paintbrush and a palette. I made the palette just out of a piece of paper and you know, just colored it in with colored pencils. And I got a piece of clip art for the Great Wall and then I desaturated it in Photoshop and, huh. and yeah, part of it. So it looks like he's working on the photo. Mm -hmm. And that was... Very clever. Yeah, I put it on a little <laughs> plate thingy there. Yeah. So you had fun figuring I did, that yeah. out. I did, yeah. <laughs> it wasn't just a photograph of, of a beautiful flower, but you were actually... You I actually created the... Yes, yes. I, I built a... I have a stage that I built, yeah. a small stage, so a sweet neat. table. Yeah, so your medium right now is photograph, right. photography, mm -hmm. right? Which I know very little about, so I can appreciate all the work you went through to set up your, your set, so to speak. Right. So, and uh, how long have you been doing photography? Oh, over 50 years. Over 50 years? Mm -hmm. Wow. You must have be really like it then. <laughs> <laughs> Learn, you must have learned a lot through that period of time. Well, you'd hope so. But, uh, yes. I'm not imagine. a professional photographer, though. But you enjoy it a lot. I do. And that's what counts, I think. So when you uh, come to Artist Del Norte, there's so many different kinds of artists. And there are a few people who do photography, but not so many. So. Uh, I suppose you, pr you might belong to a, like a camera club or something too. I belong to two other groups. Two other groups, yeah. right. Uh, S Springbrook Nature Center has a, a s oh. small photography club mm -hmm. and then a North Metro Photo Club oh, that's also. That's neat. Yeah. And you can connect with lots of different kinds of artists because... Yeah. I have, I, I do more at Artist Del Norte though because uh, I'm the group's uh, the club's photographer. Oh. And it's... Uh, you know, it's my job to take pictures. Right, and we do have a nice newsletter that Artist Del Norte puts out every month, and there's lots of photographs, and now the website is getting, kind of increasing its uh, photographs too, which is, which is a lot, of, a lot mm -hmm. of fun, and so it's good to have good photography. We appreciate that. And uh, let's talk about your next piece that we have here in the Rotating Art Program at North Metro, so. Another interesting photograph that <laughs> makes me curious. <laughs> yeah, this one, uh, it was for the same show, oh. Ar Artists in the, in the Far East. And I, I wanted to, to make a scene uh, that would, would be like, if I just got up from my desk, let's say, mm -hmm. and I'm planning a trip to the Far East, and I just got up and you, could, you can see what I was what I was looking at, hmm. and that's what hmm. I tried to do. Right, I was in that show too, and but I didn't have a camera, so <laughs> I think it would have been a little trickier to be a, in that show as a photographer, unless you could go to the Far East, which well, you probably couldn't. I do. did on a map. That's, right. that's the way I did that. So. <laughs> so I like how prominent your the binoculars are and. Every piece you can see, but the map is still, still important in that one. Kind of really focuses in on the Far East. So, how how do you face different challenges? With to me, it would be light, and shadow, and the time of day, just all that. Well, it's first thing you have to do is have an idea. So I have to. I need an idea of what I want to what I want to do, mm -hmm. and then I collect my props. I like to go oh, to a surplus store or to, uh, to the dollar store. Mm -hmm. I try to limit it 
to five dollars. That's kind of a self-imposed limit for props. Mm -hmm. But uh, and they just set a stage, you know, s you know, set the scene, mm -hmm. and then uh, as far as the light goes, I have my own lights, you know, mm. so I don't need daylight. I can. I can do it at night, you know, just mm. like like the lights here. Do you have more than one kind of camera? Oh gosh, L lots. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Equipment, <laughs> right? And so you get your inspiration from maybe a specific theme or something that you've seen. Like I know you do dragonflies and flowers and landscape and. I, I enjoy nature photography. Right, so that's neat. Do you have your own uh, a website or? I do not. I just people? I have my Facebook page mm -hmm. where I put a lot of them. Well, that's good. And so there's always more to learn, I'm sure, about any oh, medium. It's never ending. Never ending. Never ending. Right. Do you teach any classes at all or? I do. I don't. Mm -hmm. uh, some people enjoy doing that, and some don't. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I never felt I was qualified enough uh, uh -huh. to teach, actually teach a class. Well, you probably are more than you think. <laughs> so, and did you, did you have a specific title on this one? Uh, travel plans. Travel plans, okay. I forgot that. Yeah. Uh, well, that's neat. And uh, so, Artist Del Norte is a, a local art group. Thank you for sharing, Gary. Um, and it's fun to be part of that with other artists and like yourself. And uh, we meet once a month on Tuesdays from 7 to 9 at the Banfield Center for the Arts. We're allowed to use their building. And uh, we have a guest artist that comes almost every time. And we may do hands-on where we're actually drawing or doing something we're learning from the artists. Or we may be just watching and they tell how they do their work and why. And we just had someone come who did uh, explained about clay and the handmade mugs that he makes and uh, why he enjoys it so much. And so we learn a lot from other artists. And even though it's different kinds of medium, you're still working with design and color and composition and texture and light and shadow and the whole rest of it. So you can still apply those concepts to whatever medium it is. So. We have workshops that we can participate in, and one is coming up uh, in the next few months, and we may learn how to do some paper making and work with acrylic paints if we go to that workshop. And then we have different, a different guest artist coming uh, September 24th. It's called Driftwood Arts Folks. Not sure what that will be, but it's always interesting. And we also have a rotating arts program that's part of Artist Del Norte where businesses in the local area can have us put up artwork for a quarter, like maybe they have three spots or five spots and we bring art. And as rotating artists, we change our art up every three months. And so we move it around to these different businesses. And so the businesses can not only have their own permanent art up, but they can have art that keeps changing, which is to me is really nice for the, for the businesses. So our website is artistdelnorte.org, and we also have a Facebook. And uh, so if anyone would like to come and be a guest at Artist Del Norte, it's always the last Tuesday of the month. We welcome guests and uh, come and be a part of us. And there's a Northern Showcase coming up. Twice a year we have um, a member show in the spring, and then we have this Northern Showcase, it's called in the fall. So in the Blaine Government Center, we will be able to display 40 to 60, 80 different pieces of artwork by local artists, and it's open. So the show is open. You don't have to be part of Artist Del Norte. So you can apply as of August 31st on our website. There's an application there for you to fill out, and it can be a little bit of sculpture or three-dimensional work, as well as paintings, drawings, and uh, photography. And so we welcome local artists from all over Minnesota, especially the local area here. And so come and join us. Thank you.